हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नोमी एट जीबी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड व्हाट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड व्हाई वी डू यूज दिस डू टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ हर्बिसाइड एंड वट इज़ द बेसिक डिफरेंस एंड वट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ हर्बिसाइड एक्चुअली हर्बिसाइड्स आर क्लासीफाइड ऑन डिफरेंट बेसिस सेलेक्टिव नॉन सेलेक्टिव कॉन्टैक्ट हर्बिसाइड और सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड प्री इमरजेंस हर्बिसाइड पोस्ट इमरजेंस हर्बिसाइड देर आर डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज एंड वन ऑफ द कैटेगरीज इज कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड एंड वी आर कन्फ्यूज इन दिस टू टाइप ऑफ हर्बिसाइड सो दिस इज बेसिक डिफरेंस इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वट इज द एक्शन वट इज द अपलिकेशन टाइम वैन दे आर अप्लाइड देन वट इज द नॉक डाउन टाइम मीन्स किलिंग एक्शन वट हाउ हाउ फास्ट इज द किलिंग एक्शन एंड हाउ मच क्वान्टिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड तो क्वांटिटी सेम और नॉट देन व्हाट इज द रेजिडुअल इफेक्ट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड मींस हाउ लॉन्ग दे रिमेन एक्टिव इन सॉइल एंड कॉज द किलिंग ऑफ वीड्स एंड द क्रॉप एज वेल एंड व्हाट आर द एग्जांपल एंड व्हिच सिचुएशन दिस कॉन्टैक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड्स आर यूज सो एज फार एज नेम इज कंसर्न द कॉन्टैक्ट हर्बिसाइड एंड द सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड एक्चुअली दिस सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड्स are translocated in the whole plant body so that's why it is now known as translocated herbicide translocated herbicide so there are two category on the basis of the their uh, translocation in the uh, plant okay so suppose this is weed weed is there and the first weed is going here root system is there and another uh, weed is there same species for example the two plants of the same weed species so uh, just two plants of same weeds and if contact herbicide is applied and this contact herbicide is applied and it the droplets or the herbicide is on on these four leaves suppose on a, on this portion then only this portion is killed there is a killing of this portion and this portion die there is a death of only this portion where herbicide is applied so contact in case of contact herbicide only those plant part are killed or die where herbicide is applied in case of jo contact herbicide hota hai jab hum herbicide ko apply karte hain to keval wahi part kill hota hai jahan us herbicide ko dala jata hai agar in char leaves pe hai to keval yahi char leaves jo hai killing hogi death hogi baki this part remain active so root system root system remain active and lower leaves remain active they remain green as such and there is a regrowth of the weeds after the application so that's why on the basis of the action this is the action action is only a localized action we can say it is localized action it kill only the leaf or the stem or the uh, plant part where it is applied in case of systemic herbicide if herbicide is applied suppose on this in this leaves on these leaves then this herbicide is translocated in root system all the root system and all the leaves the all the leaves upper part lower part and the whole plant body is killed the whole plant is killed so here killing is on only of leaves or shoot we can say leaves or shoot while in case of systematic whole plant part whole plant weed plant definitely shoot as well as root both are killed so this is the difference in contact and systemic herbicide in case of contact herbicide only the affected part is killed while in case of systemic herbicide is whole plant is killed or death of whole plant including the root whether it is rhizome root whatever the roots all are killed in case of contact herbicides roots are not killed they remain viable so there is a chance of regrowth in case of contact herbicide and this herbicide we talk about the application time so these herbicides are applied on the leaves of the root so that's why they they have post emergence application only post emergence so weeds are, are in the field then this herbicide is applied on the leaves on the shoot while systematic herbicide can be applied as a pre emergence or post emergence pre and post both so they are applied on soil also so in case of pre emergence herbicide emerging seedling germinating seedling 
absorb the herbicide and there is killing of weeds. So pre and post. While in case of contact herbicide, these are not applied as a pre-emergence because they uh, desiccate or they kill the shoot system. So that's why there is a weed. Then it is applied. So the contact herbicide, which we use leaves, which we use weeds grow in the field, then we can apply it in pre-emergence. वीट्स होता ही नहीं है प्री इमरजेंसी से पहले नहीं डालेंगे क्योंकि सोइल में हम डालेंगे नहीं क्योंकि केवल शूट को अफेक्ट करता है एंड इफ दे आर अप्लाइड प्री इमरजेंस देन दे बिकम इनएक्टिव एंड देयर इज नो एक्शन सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट कांटेक्ट हर्बिसाइड इज यूज्ड ओनली एज अ पोस्ट इमरजेंस सो दिस क्वेश्चन मेबी आज इन एग्जामिनेशन कांटेक्ट हर्बिसाइड इज यूज्ड एज अ प्री इमरजेंस पोस्ट इमरजेंस और बोथ सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इट इज अप्लाइड एज पोस्ट इमरजेंस देन अनदर इज नॉक डाउन टाइम मींस द किलिंग एक्शन हाउ फास्ट so killing action is concerned in case of contact it is very fast fast knock down action fast killing so they immediately kill the weeds and here in case of it is slow action so if contact herbicides are applied then they kill the weeds within 24 hours within one day while uh, systemic herbicide takes time two days three days or four days depending upon the climatic and weather condition or the plant stage so this is the advantage of the contact herbicide that it immediately kill within 24 hours if we want to remove the weeds from the field then contact herbicides are very good uh, option while in case of systemic herbicide it takes time so jab humko weeds ko bahut jaldi khatam karna hai to hum aise case mein contact herbicide ko use karte hain kyunki turant 24 hours mein hi weeds ko kill kar denge so that's why they are used in the situation when the uh, action required is immediate while in case of systemic herbicide it takes time so uh, Another difference is that the quantity required. Actually, if we want to kill the whole weeds, then we have to uh, apply the herbicide on all the parts of these weeds. Then there will be whole killing, whole plant body killing of the this weed. So quantity required is more. While in case of this systematic herbicide, if herbicide is applied only uh, upper portion, then it is translocated and it kill the plant so that's why in case of contact herbicide the requirement of quantity is more while in case of systemic herbicide quantity requirement is very less so contact herbicides are required in 2 liter per hectare 3 liter per hectare 5 liter per hectare depending upon the how much biomass how much vegetation is there if there is more vegetation more leaves in weeds more quantity is required because if we have leaves and weeds are bigger, we have to apply more herbicide to contact it for killing it. While in the case of systemic herbicide, they are required in grams, even in 25 grams, 60 grams, 90 grams are sufficient. For example, halosulfuron required is only in 90 grams. So, systemic herbicide requirement may be in grams. So, less quantity is required because they are systemic, they are translocated and they move in the whole plant body and kill the plant so less quantity is required but uh, as far as uh, residual effect is concerned means how long they remain uh, viable and they show the toxicity action in case of the this contact herbicide residual action is very less so they detoxify uh, uh, in one two three uh, days so they do not show their residual uh, effect in soil while uh, while in case of systemic herbicide residual effect is more maybe one season maybe two season even in one year they are applied on soil on the weeds though their toxicity action remain active and they affect the microorganism they affect the succeeding crop so this is the problem with the systemic herbicide so both have some advantage and some disadvantage so depending upon the situation both are used and example is concerned that very good example of this contact herbicide is paraquat paraquat and the diquat and in some countries this diquat is banned then for aquatic weed control endothol this is very important herbicide for aquatic weed control and this paraquat is very common and known as gramaxon gramaxon ke naam se bahut bazaar mein ye popular hai bikti hai and systematic herbicide many herbicides are systematic uh, uh, for example glyphosate glyphosate 24d 24D, atrazine, pendimethylene, butachlor, all these are the systemic herbicide. So, this contact herbicides are used in irrigation channel on the bones. There is a heavy vegetation and we want to kill immediate the weeds, then these are applied. Actually, this uh, diquat, paraquat, these herbicides are uh, actually non-selective. 
नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड एंड दिस ग्लाइफोसाइट इज ऑल्सो नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड सो डोंट बी कंफ्यूज द नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड किल ऑल द वेजिटेशन वेदर इट इज अ क्रॉप और वीट तो एक क्रॉप को भी किल कर देते हैं वीट्स को भी किल करते हैं जिसको पटा जाएगा सबको किल कर देंगे तो सपोज इन वीट क्रॉप इन मेज क्रॉप सपोज सम वीट्स आर देयर एंड वी आर अप्लाइंग सपोज टेम्बोट्रॉन सो टेम्बोट्रॉन इज सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड इट इट किल ओनली द वीट्स एंड मेज क्रॉप इज सेव्ड सो इट इज सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड बट इन मेज क्रॉप इज डाइक्वेट और पैराक्वेट और ग्लाइफोसाइट इज यूज इट विल किल द मेज क्रॉप ऑल्सो एज वेल एज वीट्स तो अगर मेज में हम ग्लाइफोसाइट या डाइक्वेट या पैराक्वेट डाल देंगे तो सबको खत्म कर देगा सबको किल कर देगा मेज को भी कर देगा वीट्स को भी कर देगा सच टाइप ऑफ हर्बिसाइड आर Uh, called non selective herbicide so in examination it is asked the example of contact herbicide paraquat diquat example systemic herbicide glyphosate example of non selective herbicide very common paraquat diquat and glyphosate and glyphosate is very common popular the name of roundup roundup is trade name of glyphosate and other herbicide many herbicides are systemic herbicide so if this herbicide are to be used whether it is paraquat or diquat In the standing crop, then it should be used in inter row space and avoid the crop. अगर हमको डाइक्वेट पैराक्वेट को या ग्लाइफोसेट को स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप में करना है जैसे मेज या वाइडली स्पेस है तो इंटर रो स्पेस में ही डालना चाहिए हुड लगा के एंड यूज द हुड एंड इफ देर इज एनी ड्रॉपलेट ऑन द क्रॉप देन डेफिनेटली इट डैमेज द क्रॉप तो ये प्रॉब्लम है इन नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड्स के साथ दे किल ऑल द वेजिटेशन दैट्स वाई दीज हर्बिसाइड्स आर मीन्स नॉन सेलेक्टिव हर्बिसाइड्स आर यूज इन फैलो फील्ड now uh, our topic is contact difference in contact and systemic herbicide so this contact herbicides are very good kill the immediate and have less residual effect and that's why they are very good and used in zero tillage system in zero tillage system there is paraquat is commonly used this herbicide paraquat gramaxon actually in zero tillage what happens in zero tillage wheat problem is more so we we spray the paraquat and it kill all the vegetation and its residual effect is very less that that's why we can go for sowing and uh, there is very good crop and there is no effect on the uh, crop so agar hum zero tillage system mein bahut weeds hote hain usme hum paraquat dal denge to usme weeds ko to jaldi kill karega usko koi residual effect nahi hoga jo dusri crop pe hum bo rahe hain so this is commonly used in zero tillage system so in those area where we want less residual effect then contact herbicides are used so this is difference between the contact and systemic herbicide many herbicides available in the market are systemic herbicide so this is the example please remember the example of paraquat diquat and endothol contact herbicide and many herbicides are systemic whether it is atrazine whether it is tembotrian topramizone new herbicides jitne bhi hain sab kya hai systemic uh, herbicide and there is a different category of selective herbicide and non selective herbicide selective herbicide kill only the weeds not the crop while non selective herbicide kill both crop as well as weeds so don't use paraquat diquat and glyphosate remember diquat paraquat diquat and glyphosate in the standing crop in the crop don't use otherwise it will kill these herbicide will kill the crop if it is used for example in sugar cane there is a wide row spacing 75 cm or 90 cm mage 60 cm to 75 cm then it should be used in only in the inter row space by using the hood and avoid the crop that's why these herbicides are not suggested to spray in crops but if there is a heavy vegetation a different type of vegetation and we want the immediate killing so contact herbicides are used but with the precaution that they are used only the inter row space and this droplet should not be on the crop to agar humko zarurat hai bahut sare weeds hain unko hum turant khatam bhi karna hai to hum use kar sakte hain lekin inter row space mein hi kare and jaise ki ye suppose this is the uh, crop uh, row suppose this is the crop row uh, and then apply the herbicide uh, this uh, contact this non selective herbicides only in the inter row space if these are on this crop suppose this is a crop if droplets on this crop then they do this crop is also damaged so this is the problem uh, with the non selective herbicide so non uh, non selective herbicides means glyphosate diquat paraquats are carefully used so that's why they are used in fallow field irrigation channel burns ऐसे एरिया जहां हमारी क्रॉप नहीं है एंड कॉन्टैक्ट हर्बिसाइड्स आर यूज इन दूज एरिया वी आर वी वी रिक्वायर इमीडिएट एक्शन इमीडिएट किलिंग एंड पर्टिकुलरली इन जीरो टेलिस सिस्टम एंड मोर क्वांटिटीज रिक्वायर्ड होल बैटिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड्स रिक्वायर्ड इन लेस क्वांटिटी एंड कैन बी यूज इन दी क्रॉप बट प्रिकॉशन इज दैट दिस शुड बी सेलेक्टिव सो एक्सेप्ट द ग्लाइफोसाइट 
uh, almost all the herbicides are uh, in this uh, sustenance category are selective. So these are the selective herbicides. 2,4-D is selective. It kills only the broadleaf weeds. Uh, so many herbicides are selective and but glyphosate is non-selective. So glyphosate is non-selective systemic herbicide. Paraquat is non-selective contact herbicide. Diquat is non-selective contact herbicide. So remember, don't be confused. It's not confusing. No need to be confused. Only non-selective herbicide use. Kar Paraquat, diquat and glyphosate. Then contact me kaun kaun se? Paraquat or diquat or endothal. These are very common. Endocratic, which is in the water, which are aquatic weeds, for them. और बाकी ये जो है सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड्स हैं तो जो मार्केट में अवेलेबल है मेनली आर सेलेक्टिव एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस इन कांटेक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड दिस कांटेक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक इज बेस्ड ऑन देयर मोबिलिटी इन द प्लांट व्हाट इज द मोबिलिटी व्हाट इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ हर्बिसाइड इफ इट मूव इन द प्लांट इट इज ट्रांसलोकेटेड देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड इफ इट इज नॉट ट्रांसलोकेटेड एंड रिमेन एज सच ऑन द लीफ देन इट इज कॉल्ड कांटेक्ट हर्बिसाइड सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस एडवांटेज एंड दी एप्लीकेशन एरिया वेयर दीज आर यूज तो कॉन्टेक्ट हर्बिसाइड आर वेरी गुड इन द मिनिमम टिलेज और वी कैन से जीरो टिलेज सिस्टम वेयर वी वॉन्ट रिक्वायर द इमीडिएट किलिंग एज वेल एज लेस रेजिडुअल इफेक्ट सो दिस इज अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्टेक्ट एंड सिस्टमिक हर्बिसाइड थैंक यू वेरी मच